Hi, I'm Trish. I'll be doing your pick a card reading today. I will be back with the live readings very soon, probably in about another three weeks. I will start doing those again, almost through my busy period at work. But I'm still um, bringing you a few videos each week. I'll be picking up again um, in about three weeks with the amount of videos. I'll be back to putting up the some of the tutorials and some extra true crime readings and a few extra videos. But I just have to get through the next few weeks. So today, as usual, I'll be choosing from one of three groups. Now, last week, one of those groups turned out to be for me, which was a shock. So I did the readings on Wednesday and by Thursday... Um, it was happening to me so what had happened with those last week's theme of the videos of the picker cards was people having problems I was noticing a lot of people around me were having all kinds of dramas and problems and you know lots of big intense things were happening to people so my intention was with those readings was to help people find the best solutions to get through these problems so I didn't have any problems at all. There was nothing going on in my life um, apart from me working a lot. But other than that, there was no no intense dramas or issues going on. But by Thursday, I had dramas and I had issues and I had all kinds of chaos going on around me. So, And when I looked back at the group that most resonated with what I was going through, it was just laid out in the cards unbelievably. It was like I couldn't believe. And I know I shouldn't say that because I've been doing it so long. I've been doing it since I was card reading, actually, since I was about 20, so about 30 years. Um, and I still shake my head sometimes when I ask a question to the cards and it's like some of the things that come out. And then also like how all re the same cards just jump out at the same time. So still sometimes I'm still amazed by the cards. But to see the chain of events that happened to me last Thursday sitting there in the cards like that was it spun me out and I know I always get messages and I will be commenting to those messages and I really appreciate everybody's comments and I will when I get time again when I'm not so busy at work I'll go back through and I'll reply to the comments I just haven't had time lately but I see a lot of messages how people say this is exactly what's going on with me at the moment this group that I chose but to actually be on the other end of that where you where it is exactly what was going on in the cards it's just it was amazing anyway i did i did use the advice i um looked at things from a logical way and i tried to find a logical solution unfortunately it didn't stop it from happening it still happened as it was meant to happen but i did try to try my best to not react in a way that was going to trigger something even further and i did try to be very um logical in the approach and I did that because the card said that was the solution out of the problem so hopefully that helped a little but I still had to deal with it and it's still actually going on so but anyway it was very interesting so it was just amazing just to see the cards like that being on the other end myself to see how sometimes how blown away they can actually be the messages in the cards so they are important um so I will continue to do them and I think I might do a, a bit of a similar theme this week in because I do know there is a lot of tension around, there is a lot of drama around. So I may actually do something similar this week. Uh, but I know for some of you are actually having, because what I'm, what I'm actually picking on is for some of you are actually having really good weeks. So I'll leave it a little bit more open this week so that way we can bring through the readings for the people that are actually going, things are going very well for them. So we'll have that option there as well. So anyway, back to the reading. So you can choose from one of three groups, which will be aqua first. Number one, number two will be pink. Number three will be purple. Take a moment, see which one resonates with you this week and I'll be back with your reading. Welcome back, group one. If you've selected the aqua, then this is your reading. Okay, the cards that are here to help you this week, we're looking at um, that you could be running on empty this week so it's almost like you're either feeling very tired or you're feeling very um, over it so you're over the situation that's been going on around you um, it's actually to the point of you know this needs to be dealt with I need a solution here or I need I need an outcome I need you know I need to know why it's almost that sense is what I'm getting on here but it's asking you to re-examine the situation looking look at it from maybe a different perspective or get somebody else to have a look at it or help you in some way it could also be for some of you that it could be a medical issue and you're needing to um, get a second opinion a second medical opinion so maybe try a different doctor um, I am seeing that for some of you I'm ask it's asking you to be a little bit cautious around this situation 
situation. Okay, so I'm picking up on two, two things here. First of all, I'm picking up on um, somebody's laying out plans and they're doing their best efforts to lay these plans out, but it's like they're not covering all their bases. It's just asking you to just be careful what you're doing, as in, you know, I don't know if it's silly mistakes here or if it's like, okay, the sense being here with the lethargic card, it's like, you know, when you're really tired and you just, you don't do things properly because you're very tired or you, you just brain's not switched on. There's like a mental, mental brain fog going on here. So therefore, um, just in maybe even general life, it could be, it could be something important, but it could be just general life. It's like, you're not functioning very well. You're not doing things the best they can be done you're not doing things properly is what I'm hearing so it's almost like yeah it's like yeah you're just you're very tired you're, you're worn down you you've got this mental clap flow um, mental fog and I'm also because I'm also seeing now over here with the the moon card in the tarot so I'm reading from my tarot today as well as my uh, my general spread spread as well so the moon is also telling me that there's no, for some reason you've got this mental mental fog. There's no clarity here. So moon is also emotions, but I'm feeling it to be more mental. I'm feeling it to be mental fog is what's going on here. Now I feel that you've got the success card on the end. So that is indicating that you're going to get through this. Everything is going to be okay. I'm also seeing that over here with, um, with the ten of pentacles. It's saying that everything will work out for you. So it's almost like um, whether that's money that you need it will be coming in or things are just going to balance out. Things are going to work out. So you've got a lot of that in the spread to say things is things are going to work out. Now it's saying don't give up on it. So don't give up on it. I'm, I'm feeling the six of um, pentacles in reverse. I'm feeling like for one thing that means it's all about balance. So the six of pentacles was about um, how much your generosity, how much you're generous to other people, how much you know you give to yourself. It's all about you know just getting that balance of give and take as well as you know your you know when you've had success yourself and and then you can be generous to other people to help them get success or you've you've got enough so you're able to give to others. So but with it being in reverse it's saying you need to be careful about giving everything away and not keeping any for yourself so don't give too much of yourself away whether that's financial or whether that's just you and your time or your energy it's saying don't give it all away but I'm also picking up a feeling of um, like wanting to throw in the towel with a situation it's like you're you've this situation's been going on too long it's too draining and you're just wanting to throw in the towel but it's saying don't it's saying don't give up um, it is saying that things are going to work out going to, slow I'm definitely seeing slow because we had the hangman hangman card there upright is saying that things have taken time there's a lot of delays um, here delays and suspensions going on with the hangman um, so th whatever it is that you're dealing with it is taking time it's take it's, it's, it's either going to take more time or it's been going on for a long time now but it's saying hang in there things are going to work out it is going to be successful you're going to get through this hurdle uh, you just need to really hang in there but they're saying you just need to be cautious about um, complacency is kind of what I'm feeling here um, for some of you just there's some caution that's needed in this area and I think that's related back to the over it kind of feeling or being complacent or being just mind fog vacant mind you're just not thinking straight so that's what that's the warning that's coming up for you so it is saying so I'm just looking at a solution for you um, so you just got to it's really just about just getting hanging in there just being careful with what you're doing being careful with everything you're doing because you're um, tired so once you're but everything it's is saying go, everything is going to be okay everything is going to work out you just have to be a little bit cautious about being too complacent or that mind fog and being forgetful that forgetfulness that's going on but it is asking you definitely to get a second opinion or get someone else to oversee something or get somebody else to help but there's an element of getting two opinions or having two people oversee something so i hope that makes sense to you um i will see you again next week welcome back group to the pink group so from your for your reading today let me see let me see what I can pull out of your reading group too I feel there's a bit of a mixed bag going on here okay and saying mixed bag I've got the split mind thing here so that's telling me that either 
you're in two minds about something, you had a decision coming up, or that there's a whole two things going on around you. So it's almost like in one area of your life, it's you know going a certain way, and the other area is another way altogether. It's like a complete split is what I'm going on. And that's okay, part two, group two. Okay, so the video just cut out on me. Um, I did a bunch of explanations and I um, tapped into the energy here of group two. Um, maybe that's for the best because it was giving me a um, ADHD kind of energy and like I was going into ADHD kind of character. So it's like maybe it was good I didn't record any of that. But what I'm picking up from the cards that I have just ran through and lost on that video is that there's an um, energy influx coming around you. So whether that can be related to a child, um, ADHD child, or it can be related to you. It can be your brain functioning like ADHD being that it, um, it can't think straight, it can't complete a project, it's like really excited about whatever's going on around or this idea that you have and it's like you know you're you've got this idea going and you're here and then you move to here and it's like all very scattered back and forth because you've got this card here of many options lots going on around you a lot of ideas coming in we also have the um the energy card and we've got the split mind card and this is what i um was picking up on i was reading this energy here where there's the light coming out of the head it's almost like your brain is on fire your mind is on fire lots of ideas and it's really all the neurons in your brain are just lighting up is what the sense that I'm getting so whether that's a, like a lot of ideas or a lot of stimulation that's what is going mental stimulation happening for you group two so um, and what the knight of pentacles the two tarot cards that I've got I'm not sure if that came out in the first recording or not or if it was in part of the one that I lost um, the knight of pentacles is saying it's just asking you to slow down take it nice and slow the knight of pentacles is a bit of a slower energy the pent pentacles are a, a slower energy because it's an earth energy so it's like the slowest energy so it is asking you just to slow down take it slow one step at a time so that is in um, complete opposition to the energy that I'm picking up here with the with the card of lots going on and the um, overload of energy coming in as well as um, like here's the card of all lining up so this is like all the chakras lined up in a row now what that means is that you can either um, might need to charge your chakras you might need to do some chakra work some meditation work but it could also mean that you're trying to get things to come together and all line up and all work out but it's like um for some of you they're just not falling into place because you you know you're just all over the place and it's trying to get them to line up in a certain way but they're just not coming together here it's saying that um, you're trying to line things up you're trying to get it running you're trying to get things happening you're trying to get it all to go a certain way it is saying take one step at a time don't take on too much there's, too, there's don't take on too much because it will fire your brain overstimulate your mind and you won't be able to stay focused to be able to achieve all the steps that's needed um, I am seeing here about the calculated risk with caution now I'm not sure if I read on this so it's because I lost so much of the reading I can't remember what actually did record but I am seeing here a calculated risk so and I believe that was in the first part of the reading so it, there is a little bit of caution that's needed you need to be cautious around a situation we've got the caution card up here so you need to be a little bit cautious around a situation and I feel it's related to um, this is a card of letting things go so it's about shedding your old ways or your old skin because it's the snake losing its skin so it's making me feel like um, being in your own skin letting go of things that no longer suit you or serve you so things that aren't really you so letting those kind of things go but you do need to be cautious Taking a calculated risk is about doing things logically and it's about thinking about every step before you take it. So it's about don't just dive in and, you know, do this and because there's risk involved in it. It's saying you need to think out the outcomes, think about things a little bit, be, caref be careful, be cautious in what you're letting go of is what I'm seeing here. What you're doing to um, let go who who you're letting go of or or what it, well, I'm just I'm definitely seeing it I'm seeing it quite clearly in these cards again could be related to children it feels like you're taking on too much here we um, could even be like that could be a related to around children um, because we've got the children and the fertility card for some of you it is related to fertility for some of you it's related to children issues things going on around children 
but I see a lot going on it's like you've got too much going on you're, you're just trying to make the balls balance and it's like it's just um, chaotic it's that chaotic ADHD kind of energy and things aren't lining up things aren't working because you're trying to balance when it's just too crazy like you've got this and it's really just affecting your mind this is the mind split card the mental illness um, so it is really just playing havoc with your mind whether your brain and your neurons firing and not being able to concentrate or sleep or whether it's to do with um, mental health is going on there that's what I'm seeing with this card here okay the other thing I needed to talk about was the tarot card. I got um, the strength in reverse and it's all about, this, so the strength is about being strong, being courageous, being brave, but in reverse it's about you know not not having to be brave not having to be courageous just letting things go and not getting involved in the fight so just you know just being just letting it go not you know not doing those things but I, I was I was picking up that that could just be um, you're needing to just let things go, let some things go, whether that's resentments or burdens or dramas, you need to let it go or let go of some things physically. So maybe you have got too much going on, too much on your plate. So it's saying, let some of those things go. You may be not balancing your responsibilities because you've got too many. So that's what it's saying. You need to let some of those things go. So I hope that helps you group two and I will see you again next week. Welcome back group three, the purple group. Now this is your reading. You've got a lot going on because a lot of cards fell out for you group three. Okay, I see a lot of aces in your spread. You have ace of swords, you have ace of pentacles, you have the ace of wands in your spread. Now you know that I've drawn for you today group three is the ace of wands and the three of swords. Now the three of swords is one of those cards that you don't like to see because it can, it, it's sometimes a card of heartbreak or disappointment. Um, emotional I know the swords aren't emotional but it's a, like a separating yourself from somebody or something so and and that's what what it is and it can be because it's um, the three and I know it's not an emotional card because it's not a cup but it is all about separation and separating yourself from something it can be that somebody very close to you is now distant from you whether that's physically they've had to move away or somebody has to move away for work but there is a sense of you distancing yourself from something and now that also could be um, cutting people from your life because we have these three swords so it could be three people that you're cutting from your life or three people that have cut you from their life but it's a sense of it doesn't have to be three but the, the three of swords is saying separation so it's a separation from people and I feel that is either them cutting you or you've cut them so and, and I feel that is coming very that's very strongly in your cards group three okay now what I'm feeling around that is that you've put up with something for a long time or this has been on your mind for a long time. This has been playing on your mind for a little while. Um, you've been, you know, deliberating over it, planning, thinking, because you've got the, um, the strategy card sitting right next to the resilience card. So it's saying that you've been thinking about this for a long time. It, it's been playing over in your mind. You've been playing out different scenarios. You know, it, you keep repeating what someone's done or, you know, how somebody is around you. And it's like you're your yeah you, 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 it's playing in your mind it's going on in your mind and that's why there's a sense of you know thinking about cutting somebody or the fact that they cut you and it's like playing in your mind going over and over again in your mind is is what I'm seeing there for you group three now I'm seeing here um the the ace of swords here is it's usually a beautiful card I'm seeing it as quite beautiful it's a card of um conquering um a triumph over adversity it's about mental clarity it's about new beginnings and new ideas because it's an ace it's a new so it's about new ideas coming and new ideas forming but I, I am seeing a sense here it's saying here the card is this is this picture here is about um, being productive and getting things done because it's an element of the head and ideas going on in the head but it's also a tree so it's an element of um, trees earth and earth means physical production productive working um, getting things done getting in and getting the work done so it's that element of ideas coming into the mind that you need to actually work on and you actually you need to do them you need to not just think about it you need to do it whether that's related over here to the cutting I feel like it's not I feel like they're separate things but for some of you it could be the same in the middle dividing these I feel like there's a division card here it's the um, consistency card practice keep trying this card is a little cat 
Um, so it could be something to do with a cat for some of you. Um, I'm, I'm only saying it that way because for last, last week for me when I did the reading um, and it turned out to be one for me, there was a dog card in there and, and something related to the dogs did happen to me. So um, now I know that maybe when we see a, an, a pet or an animal that it could be related to that. Um, yeah, so I'm seeing here the cat, but it is saying be consistent and keep practicing, keep trying, sitting right next to the resilient card. So that again is saying you're going to get through this, be strong, keep doing, hang in there, keep doing the work because it's sitting in between a resilient, which is also a bull. Um, there's a bull in this card, so the bull is, all, is Taurus, it's earth energy, and it's saying that you need to just keep doing the work, keep trying, keep being consistent. Uh, practice makes perfect um, but just keep trying keep doing so whatever ideas or thoughts and and for some of you the thoughts could be negative thoughts it could be I'm never going to get never going to do this or I'm never going to um, be able to achieve this or I'm never going to be any good at this or you know it, it, for some of you it could be negative self self-doubt loss of confidence but for some of you it could just be ideas that's coming in and that you need to work on and make them physically manifest or, or bring them into fruition by the hard work but it is saying being consistent and being practiced so doing it a lot over and over again next to the resilience card which means hang in there work again keep working on it um, but plan too and there's we've got the strategy card here which is about planning and think about again it's about thinking thinking about what you do plan it out um, don't just jump in you need to actually have a plan or a goal here and you need to be really logical about how you how you approach this as well as physical in doing the work you also need to be logical because we've got the swords on the end so these are your two logic cards sitting right here now we've got abundance, two abundance cards sitting in t on your top line. It's the card that's called abundance um, in my, my oracle deck, which is my abundance card. But I'm also sitting next to the ace of pentacles. So which means new money coming in, or it could be new ideas for work or new work for you. Um, but it is saying that something you're going to be doing will be bringing in reward for effort. So you're going to be compensated for your effort here. Um, but it's asking you to get control of your finances because we've got the card here that says you need to take your power pack back and you need to get control of it. So I feel like it's take, it's saying you need to get control of your finances because sitting that we've got loss, we've got either loss of something, whether that's your loss of direction, your loss of faith, your loss of your self-confidence, your loss of money um, sitting right here. And it's sitting right in between the two, if I move this bottom row so you can see the top row that I'm reading, I'm just going to switch them over. Okay, so this is the row, the row that I'm reading. And that's what I'm saying, group three, you've had so many cards in this one. There's so much going on around you. But what it's saying is we've got the loss card here, loss, sitting in between two money cards. So either you've lost money, you're going to lose money um, on, on something like an investment or you know, wasteful money. Some money's going to be wasted in some way, some kind of loss there. So it's saying that you need to get control of that. Again, over here on the outside is another control card. It's the hangman, but it's about um, controlling. You can see how here, um, this is my version of the, the hangman in the tarot. So this is like one person, this is the hangman over here, but this is one person controlling another person. So this card also has an element of control and about getting control. The hangman is just hanging there. He, he, he's hanging upside down. He has no control over the situation. So here I'm seeing that element of control because it's over here saying get control. You've lost control of the situation. You've lost control of your finances. Maybe somehow this is where the um, three of sword comes into it where you need to separate yourself from something. So separate yourself from something that is a loss or you've lost money on or that's been wasted money so that could be it may not be a person for you that you're cutting it could be you're cutting something that is just draining you financially because I'm seeing that loss of money some of you it is um, it's, it's a beautiful card it's abundance and money coming in for you and um, that could be what's happening but for some of you I feel like it's a loss of something so it's all about for you is about getting control and I'm seeing here the only other card I haven't read is the ace of wands which is beautiful, it's a new card, so ace means new. It's also about creativity, so new spark of passion, ideas, creative energy coming in around you, group two, there's group three. So thank you for joining me, I'll see you again next week.